Oh, you know, when you hear the word, you have cancer, it's, it's always something you think of will happen to someone else. And for me, I had just turned 40 years old. I don't smoke. I rarely drink. I work out at the gym every day. Um, I almost, it, it almost like it was, you were hearing it, but it wasn't really being said to me. I knew when I got the call to come into my doctor's office that something was going on. And so I had um, my mom and my sister with me for support to hear whatever it was gonna be. And I, I still really never thought cancer was gonna be said. Being young and, and in relatively good health otherwise, I just, I think I just glazed over and the room just, you know, echoed. And I remember my sister and mom like grabbing on to me and, and the doctor with his notepad. And it's almost just like you're in another dimension. Back in 2018, I was having some pain on my right uh, lower pelvic side. And so after some testing and visiting doctors, we had thought that we were dealing with an ovarian cyst. It turns out I didn't actually have a cyst. I had two tumors in my fallopian tube. Well, I was diagnosed with high-grade serous ovarian cancer, stage one. And that is the most common type of ovarian cancer and also the most aggressive and the most lethal. I had zero family history of any breast or ovarian cancers. So it was actually a complete shock to me when I found out that I had this mutation. Thought, you know, this was one and done. I was so lucky we caught this early. And so I returned to work after about nine months. Um, unfortunately, my cancer came back. And so this time my cancer metastasized to my spleen. And so off work I went and had to undergo another surgery again. Next month will actually be two years for me being in remission. And so this new medication has actually given me a lot of hope that I can still have quite a long time before this cancer rears its head again. And so I'm, I'm very thankful for that. When I went through my first course of treatment at the end of that, I was bound and determined to do something brave. And so I had decided that when I got through chemotherapy and healed up enough, I was gonna do a three week solo trip up to Algonquin Park. And so I finished treatment and I, I planned it all out and I packed my car and I did all this research and my poor mother was beside herself <laughs> thinking, you know, no, you can't do this alone, you can't go alone. And, and I did it and I loved it. And I really feel like it, it changed something in me. It just, I found my strength. Cancer is only one part of our story. It's just a small part of our story. But if we shout it from the rooftops and we don't let it go quietly, we advocate and we fundraise and our voices actually matter. I'm Shannon Kadar and I am an ambassador for the Show Us Your Brave campaign.